We want to dig into the budget a little bit with you. Let's start with the fact this nearly $45 billion budget includes an anticipated surplus of nearly $5 billion, part of which will be spent down in the new fiscal year under the proposal. But it begs the question, did the state really need to borrow more than $4 billion then? Well, you know, when we went into this pandemic back last spring, um, early spring, we uh, did revenue forecasting that placed us, I think in May, our, our revenue update, uh, we showed declines of uh, $9.9 .9 billion when we did our first round of estimates based on what we were seeing in the economy. And we, our, our revenues had tanked in the spring. You, you know the percentages, sales tax, gross income, income tax, realty transfer fees, everything had declined drastically uh, in the first wave of the pandemic. Moody's had thought that we could be seeing declines um, as bad as $13 billion. We, we ended up at about $9 billion, uh, but we started adjusting that as we went through the pandemic. Uh, we lowered that number as we saw what the effects were of coming out of the first surge. Um, you know, we started to build up sales tax. It turned out gross income tax wasn't hurt as badly as we thought. And we continued to alter that number through the year until our final recertification in uh, late October when we went to borrow the emergency geo bonds. But it turned out the economic effects of the second surge did not mirror the economic effects of the first surge. We did not see our revenues plummet uh, like we did in the first surge. So this is our next opportunity. The governor's budget message every year is that the opportunity for us to update our revenue numbers. So we are adjusting them now um, as a result of having learned from experience what the effect of that second surge was economically. And, and there are a number of reasons I can go into for why it didn't affect us as much. When we look at the budget, there are property tax relief programs that have been maintained. There's a new direct payment of up to $500 for some residents. Governor mm -hmm. Murphy saying yesterday his budgets have delivered the lowest year over year increases in property taxes on record. But I must ask, these are still increases. We are not lowering property taxes. So why mm -hmm. don't we see even more in terms of tax relief, especially given the revenue and uh, surplus situation? Well, I mean, there is a lot of tax relief in this bill, and um, it's $1.25 in property tax relief through homestead rebates, senior freeze, um, uh, and other programs that we have had in place. As you mentioned, we also have the middle class tax rebate that is budgeted in this. That was part of the millionaire's tax agreement last year, and that will be up to $500 um, uh, per taxpayer. Uh, we're also expanding tax relief under the uh, earned income uh, tax credit. This year we're proposing taking the age cap off so that people older than age 64 can also take advantage of the earned income tax credit and we're estimating 60,000 more New Jerseyans will be able to take advantage of that. One of the big headlines was the $6.4 billion planned pension payment. Mm -hmm. uh, the head of the Chamber of Commerce, Tom Bracken, actually suggested that that was too much funding and some of that money should go to help businesses. How do you respond to that? Um, as I've said in um, earlier discussions, that pension payment um, has has been an albatross around uh, the necks of previous budgets for decades. Um, and with all due respect, I, I have to say that, you know, the last time it was paid 100% was back in 1996. The payment at that time was $235 million, million with an M. We are now paying 6.4 billion because people made the decision not to pay the pension payment or decrease what we should have been paying for the, the pension payment. If we had continued from 1996 to pay 100% of the ADC for the pension payment through to the FY21 budget, we would have been paying $750 million this year in FY21 for 100% payment. Um, so billions and billions of dollars have been lost because Previous administrations have not made the full pension payment. Um, this will save us by taking, we're, we're doing it a year early um, along the, the, uh, the payment plan. So 
doing it a year early, reaching 100% will save us over $800 million over the next 30 years. State Treasurer Elizabeth Marimorio, good to talk to you again. Thanks for your time. Good talking to you, Rhonda. Thanks. Take care. Thanks for watching. For more clips and episodes of NJ Business Beat, subscribe to the NJ Spotlight News YouTube channel.